Streaming music throughout your home is easy with DTS Play 5. Really, it's as easy as connect, select, and play. When you first open your DTS PlayFi app, you're going to be greeted with all of the various PlayFi products that you've set up on your network, as well as any pre-configured groups that you set up beforehand. Let's begin by connecting. In this case, we'll connect to the bedroom. Once connected, we're presented with all of the various streaming options. The DTS PlayFi player can play everything from Amazon Music, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Tidal, and Napster. This is where we get to select the music source. In this case, we'll select from the local music on this device. Now we get to play. You can pick anything from albums or genre if you wanted to organize it in that way. In this case, let's play The Mute from Radical Face. Once we hit play, the music plays out to the corresponding group. While it's playing, we can see the now playing screen here to give us some basic controls, which allow us to shuffle, continuous loop, or loop just one time. We also have volume control over this particular group right here. DTS PlayFi makes it easy to play music in every room of your home. Playing in more rooms of the house is easy, and the music doesn't have to stop. Just tap on the plus or minus button here, and it will show you every single room that's available. So right now we've got music up and running in just the bedroom. Playing in more rooms of the house is easy. So if we wanted to add, say, the bathroom and the den, it's as simple as tapping on them. So now that we've done that, tapping on the plus or minus button again takes us back to the control screen, and we can individually control their volume levels to adjust one room, or adjust all evenly with the master volume control. If you find yourself playing to the same group of speakers fairly often, you can actually save a lot of time by saving them as a pre-configured group. To do this, we can go to the settings menu and tap on the speaker groups option to save as a new group or reconfigure any existing groups. If you are already playing to a group that you happen to like and want to save for later, hit the plus or minus button, scroll down, and then tap on the save as group option. From here, we can save it to an existing group, or we can hit the Create Speaker Group and make a new group. Now it is saved to your settings to be recalled at any time. Say you want to move about your home, but want to take the music with you. DTS PlayFi makes it easy to switch from one room to the other. All we have to do is tap the Switch button up at the top. That's going to show us all of the available groups and individual PlayFi products that are on the network. If we want to switch, we just select the one we want to switch to. In this case, we'll switch to Office. The PlayFi app is automatically going to connect to Office, then resume playback just like that. If you want to play different music in your current zone, say, from a different service altogether, well, that's pretty simple. To change music services, tap on the music service icon right here in the top of the zone bar. Or we could just as easily slide the control screen over to reveal all the various services that are available. In this case, we'll just select Media Server, which will allow us to play from a network media source, and choose our music. You can see that the module itself changes just a little bit to reflect that I've selected a different media source altogether. And this is the same across different sources like Pandora, iHeartRadio, etc. The module will be themed differently to reflect each playing source. So say you like what you are playing in one zone, but want to play something different in another. Well, DTS PlayFi makes that easy too. In order to add a new zone, all we have to do is hit the plus icon up at the top bar. This will give us various options, but we will keep it simple this time and just hit add zone for a simple zone. We can select any speakers or groups that are available on the network. In this case, let's pick bedroom, and then we can select from one of the available music services. And again, we have our simple controls that are tailored to this particular group. If I hit the PlayFi button, it takes us back to the PlayFi control screen, and again, you see both zones currently active on the screen. You don't have to navigate away from this screen if you want to have full power or full control over them. You can pause and play one zone, control volume in another, without interrupting each other. It's 
DTS PlayFi can play back all sorts of file types, from MP3s to AAC files you might get off of iTunes, to uncompressed formats such as FLAC or WAV. PlayFi will play those all back at their native formats in lossless CD quality. It'll even play back high resolution audio files, which PlayFi downsamples to CD quality over the network. However, if you do not wish to have a downsample high res audio, PlayFi has a special mode called Critical Listening Mode. With this mode, you can play back audio files at their original quality with no adjustments for network performance. To get into this mode, we tap the high res button here. This will show you all of the PlayFi products that are available on your network that can support high resolution audio files, all the way up to 24 bit and 192 kilohertz. In this case, let's go ahead and select Office, and then start playing high-res content. And just like that, you're playing completely uncompressed audio over your wireless network. If you happen to have a format or service that isn't supported on the DTS PlayFi platform, there is a special mode that may be able to take care of you. It's a mode we call Line In, and what this mode does is allow you to play back audio from external sources over the PlayFi system. To do that, just hit the plus icon to add a new zone. In this case, we'll hit Line In to add a Line In zone. If you have a PlayFi product that supports Line In, it'll appear on this list. In this case, we'll select Office. And that has a couple of input sources. You can select from analog, optical, or even coaxial. Right now, we have optical going. So we'll select that, tap next, and then you can select the speakers you want to stream to. DTS PlayFi can stream up to 16 speakers within one zone at any given time, and they'll all play back completely synced room to room. Now that we have that zone going, we can control their individual volumes just like any other PlayFi zone. DTS PlayFi allows you to easily set up a true stereo pair over a wireless network using two PlayFi products. Just tap on the gear icon to go into the settings screen, and then select the stereo pairs option. This will take you through the stereo setup. Let's first select the left speaker. Tap on the speaker icon, it will produce a sound. When you find the speaker you want, tap the speaker name to assign it as the left speaker. Do the same for the right speaker. Then just select it there and give it an appropriate name to help you identify the pair. The DTS PlayFi app will automatically sync them together as a true stereo pair. Then you can connect and stream to it the same way you would any other speaker or group. DTS PlayFi supports Spotify Connect, which means you can play to any DTS PlayFi enabled product or group directly from a Spotify app. To do this, open your Spotify app of choice, go to the Now Playing screen, and then tap on the Devices Available icon right down at the bottom. Once there, you can see all of the Spotify Connect enabled products including PlayFi individual products, groups, stereo pairs, any that you've had on the network, or any that you have paired to before, even if they're on a different network. Whatever you want to play to, just go ahead and select it from this screen. You'll notice it gets highlighted in green below. Just hit the play icon, and just like that, you're streaming out to that particular group, pair, or individual product. If you want to play to multiple rooms within the Spotify app, first you've got to set up some Spotify groups. To do that, just go into the PlayFi app and select the settings icon and then select the Spotify groups option. This will take you to the Spotify group setup screen which allows you to set up a new group or edit existing groups. In this case, we'll select the plus icon to create a new group. You can name it whatever you like. Once you've done that, you can then go ahead and select whichever speakers you want to add for that group and then hit done. That will make those groups available in the Spotify app and you can play to them as you would any other product. <laughs> 